Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio, you don't always have to draw out your assets in the program. Let's say you have images. Well, you can import those images into the software and then convert them into vector graphics, which allows you to easily animate them out by using points and using basically all the tools that you're used to when it comes to Anime Studio's drawing and animation tools. So in order to do this, we'll first need an image. So locate an image on your computer, and once you do, you can go to File, Import, image and I'll just use the ship image right here and then click open. So the image is kind of big so I will just take the transform layer tool here and just kind of zoom out here and then decrease the size so that we can see what's going on here and then bring it in like that. So now you'll want to select the image from your layers panel. Once you do that, you can go up to draw, trace image. Here, you can do what is called tracing the image, basically converting the image into a vector graphic. Now, you can adjust the threshold, which the lower the threshold, you can see there's less going on with the image. This is your preview right here. And you'll just want to find something that works best. You can see as I turn this all the way up, it basically looks like a silhouette. If I kind of go down like this, you can see we can see the windows on the ship. And so you'll just have to adjust this to what you think is best. There's really no right or wrong. It just depends on your style and what you want. So I'll put it right there for right now. Detail reduction, the higher this goes, the less detail you'll have. The lower it goes, the opposite is true. So if you want as much detail as possible retained from this image, you'll want to keep this as low as possible. Now, more detail doesn't necessarily mean it'll look better. Sometimes you'll want to reduce the detail because you may discover that less detail translates better when converting your image into a vector. You can also fatten the lines. As you can see, the outlines here make them thicker if you want. So once you've done that, you can click OK, and it will then convert the image into a vector graphic. Now from here, you could come up here to your tools, such as the Transform Points tool, and you could just move your points around, and you could animate things out if you wanted to, based on this, or you could just manipulate. You could come in here with your paint bucket tool, and you could color things in, and you could basically just manipulate this however you see fit. Now again, different images will yield different results, and depending on what colors are in the image, you'll also get different results as well. So if I just remove that and go back up to File, Import, and choose image and let's choose the boy image import that and what I can do then go back to draw trace the image I can kind of increase the threshold here and I'll just leave everything else as is and click OK and sometimes it takes a little bit of time to convert as you can see it just did and here is what it looks like. So again, it depends on the image, it depends on your colors, and it's something you'll have to play around with. But if you are working with images and you want them to act as vectors, you can easily do so with the trace image feature in Anime Studio Debut. 